I was thinking of the last time I spoke in front of this many people at once. We're fortunate not this morning in 1026, so it was a large class. I thought we were not quite that large here at one in the It was actually at my high school graduation a few years ago. So I was just looking at you, at you. So I was reflecting on that time and what it was like to be sort of back in my 18 year old self and what I was thinking at that moment. And I remember how excited I was to be going off to college. So I had at least three different possible majors with wildly different fields in mind. And I was just so on the edge of my seat, ready to get into those classrooms and meet those professors and begin to uncover what would be my path through the world, to find out what my passion would be. What would motivate me to wake up every morning and go to work someday in my you know, working life? And I had a very successful undergraduate experience in terms of I feel like I did find that path and find my passion, and that's what led me here to the college. But I was surprised once I started working at the college to discover that as, as much fun as I have in my heart for that time in my life, that it's actually more exciting and more rewarding to be on the other side of that equation, to be that professor and that mentor, rather than just the person going through the self-discovery. And I've also been surprised to learn that teaching happens in so many places here, and not just in the classroom. What I could get up and do every Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 10 is really a small part of what I do here. And I've been so thrilled to have those tiny moments that happen in unexpected places with students, where I can begin to help them on their own journey to uncover their paths and to identify their strengths and talents and passions and figure out where their coffee life is going to lead. And these happen as unexpectedly in the afternoon when a research student knocks on my door and says, hey, I'm sorry, I really can't talk about research right now, but could we have life talk instead? Um, to the student who's in my class and has come to Africa and is really hating my class and struggling with the material and finally confesses, you know what? I don't really like science and I don't think I want to be a doctor. And then we can begin to have that conversation about what else they might want to do and where their path might really lie. Because there are so many different directions that they can go. And so I've been very privileged to play just a tiny role in that with so many of my students. And so I thank for my past and present students for that opportunity, as well as the colleagues in the Department of Chemistry and my family and friends who have been so supportive of my own path through this career as a professor. Thank you.